So this person Let's called I, I think I have a story for this. Let's a video see. from Ultimate a commentator called for Happy Maddie. It was a commentary on Jonah Smith, who covered a bit of Happy Maddie's last video on Jonah, who was covering the countdown YouTuber and part-time commentator named Blazing Marvista, who made his list of his least favorite power-ups. My guess is that Maddie didn't want to keep the video around because it wasn't that good. But today I want to cover what was removed. The boy is absolutely delighted. He takes the ping pong ball to his room, and the ping ping pong ball is never. Seen again. The day before his 15th birthday, asked by his father, Well, my son, what would you like for your birthday? The son hesitated for a moment, and his father thought, slept ahead of a new computer and similar things. However, his son had a new computer only recently, and he could have a new one anytime he wished. Finally, the son said, Father, I have everything I've wish for, but there's one thing I would really like. I would love to have five pink pink pong balls. The father was rather astonished at this wish, but said, if it is pink pink pong ball you want, then a pink pink pong ball you shall have. And so, the next day, the son was given as his birthday present five pink pong balls. The boy took the pink pink pong balls to his room, and the next morning, the pink pink pong balls were gone. The father was mildly surprised, but decided to say anything. Pink pong balls, however, were never seen again. But you see, you cut out some context of Jonah's overall point. The next year, the day before his 16th birthday, the father asked his son what he would like for his birthday. The father replied to his son, I have everything the boy could possibly wish for, but there is one thing I would really, really like. And if I kept Love showing multiple tin, clips from different commentaries, that would be the nothing more than surprising than to add on to the video and delay for the actual topic at hand. For he knew that Jonah son was had expressing that either method that forces him to show evidence of blazing Larvista's bad balls, videos wouldn't be good for the video. As one method wouldn't demonstrate that Larvista so makes bad videos, and the other method would pad out his video needlessly. However, I would argue the former to be fine, as Jonah later does show a screenshot of a bunch of commentaries Larvista has had on him. In his video he proves the point to be okay, and that's only if you consider the fact that this point doesn't really matter at all. As Jonah is introducing the target to his audience, to explain who Larvista is, being a content creator who sometimes does commentaries that aren't seen by the community of commentators is very good. This gives us all the context we need as to whom Larvista is and what he does. Showing any kind of evidence to his commentaries not being very good is arbitrary at best and stupid at worst. Moving on. A carton of pink pong balls. And if I kept showing multiple clips yes. from different commentaries, that would be nothing carton more than padding the add-on to the video and delay for the actual I topic at hand. I can't understand yeah, your fascination with pink pong balls, father. But if it's a carton of pink pong balls, you are covering one of his top ten. Take that! While that is true, so Larvista is known given, within the commentary community for his commentaries more than his countdowns according to Jonah, which is giving context to those who do not know Larvista but have been around the, the commentary day, community that he is not seen as a great commentator, and, and since he's here. introducing his target in that clip, son, it doesn't come off as needless padding. I must if Jonah didn't now, clarify that people would know him if they hung around the commentary community for his bad commentaries, that would be one thing, however. Please hear anyway, I'm talking father. today. Blazing Marvesta. Ping -pong balls You've been around the CC for a while. You probably heard of his left the next year, commentary. It was clear that the sun would get a car, point but the father felt that perhaps his son had some other wish. Apart from the so one day commentary. before the son's 18th birthday, the father asked him whether or not he had a special list for his birthday. Dearest so father, the son does, started, I have everything a young man could possibly want. Really that would cause some kind of whip but there is one so thing really craving at me. I would, more than anything, want a warehouse full of pink pong balls. Pink pong balls. The one of these years, his father thought, I should get to the bottom of this. However, he decided to humor his son's wish. Not really. At least he had been wise enough to buy shares in the first of video pong implied that his commentaries are typically the next what's day, covered the in the commentary the community, the thus introducing Larvista to us as someone who's not great at making commentaries. He followed that part of the home. introduction with explaining how he was going to hit something different, warehouse, something we hadn't seen many times leading to that point. Well, I'm going to be going to Phantom and Moon to tackle something different. No countdowns. So Larvista is a not good commentator who also makes countdowns. Birthday, Seems explained son well enough to me. Yes, his son is deepest desire. Yeah, not entirely wrong. Because introducing your target father, is important for viewers to come very, in and explain very, the context as to what's going on. This should be really obvious. This year, obvious. I asked you for a shipload of pink 
ping pong balls. And I'm on a if enough lucky, I can turn the same entire lot no, right back possible. at you. If only because the father had by now bought each and every commentary. factory of pink so ping pong balls in the country. The next day, the father took his son to the harbor and showed him a huge tanker. He told his son that there were millions, billions, if not trillions of pink ping pong balls in the country. Father, right, the son said, you've made me very happy yet again. That, that night, the son spent the court on a lot. The next morning, not a single pink ping pong ball could be found, but the son was happy. For the evidence. You don't a few days before his 20th birthday, however, the son had a terrible road accident and was taken to the hospital. Except he explains that his if father visited the young man the commentary in My dear son, can I bring you anything to make you feel better? You have skills as a commentator, the son explaining that other commentators father, have more than likely talked about him there. Grant Very similar much. to your if you Just Google Jonas Smith then you would see pink commentaries pink pink done on him explanation. The father held his son. So if he needs to show evidence and provide examples to which commentaries by Blazing Larviston aren't good, even then if it you may need be to explain and give examples I to whom has done commentaries on Jonah Smith, pink, pink otherwise it's double standards well, and father. hypocrisy. A please indulge me first. You could I will tell you whatever you wish to know after you've given me a tin pack of pink pink pong balls. The father thought that that was fair enough and the next day brought his son the and you just say there's a lot of commentaries done on him. The son smiled Your statement was a blanket one too. Son, I leave these pink pong balls with you and shall come back tomorrow to ask you what you have done with those two pink pink pong balls. The son nodded weakly. The next day, less than surprisingly, no maybe pink pong balls could be found in the son's hospital room. Or maybe he didn't care now, enough to my cover it the rest of the point might have been okay. Whereas this one life. isn't correct no Please matter how you slice it as it deliberately ignored a statement in Jonah's introduction for the sake of making a not great point altogether. Being more of a dishonest point than telling us that an inanimate object moves, which is just stupid. Anyway, that's all I had to say on the matter of this video. This is Pink Robot, until next time.